So now you've transitioned into bodyguarding or close protection. Is there a difference, bodyguarding, close protection? Uh, I don't know. I don't really like... I don't, me, personally, I don't like the word bodyguard because it reminds everyone of that old movie, you know, when they're like, diving for... Duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's not... It, you know, for me, close protection is, is trying to uh, avoid any contact. Like, if I'm being uh, reactive to the trouble it means that that's the that's the last ditch attempt like mm-hmm. we should already have had plans in play to get these uh, the client never to be exposed to that threat if it does then we have to react but if we can plan a, a route where we drive it's different every day we're not because as humans we we set routines right you go to work the same day, you go to the gym the same way, Mm -hmm. you know? And if you do that all the time, if you have a threat against you, it's not gonna be hard to follow you a couple of times and you you go to the the gym that way, you go to here. It's like, all right, well, I'm just gonna plan something on that route. So with us there, we're there to try and take them different ways all the time, so it's a bit sporadic. Now when you say him, who is him? Uh, (laughs) That's a question (laughs) everyone likes to ask. (laughs) Who are you looking after? Yeah, well, I gotta keep my job, so I can't really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, do that. I wasn't seriously <laughs> expect to get an answer to that. That was a trick, <laughs> even though it's just you and me. It's just it's just a little conversation. So I gotta imagine that that job is ninety nine percent boredom. Yeah, like I, I'm bored. How do you handle that? Because you're such an not adrenaline junkie. It's maybe the wrong word, but stimulus seeker. Yeah, like uh, you know for. for I, I don't know. I, I like it. I enjoy it because, you know, I'm not this adrenaline junkie. What I like, what I explained to you earlier, I'm very mm-hmm. regimented on how I do things. Okay. Yeah. And I like the plan and I like working the plan yeah. or playing the game plan or whatever. So for me, it's like, it's stimulant. Like, even mm-hmm. though it's boredom and boredom is good in our line of work. Like if it's yeah. boring, it, it means it's working. It means it's working. Yeah. And that means the plan's working, which means then that I, I you know, I'm there now ready to go, okay, I'm happy with everything's going mm-hmm. on, but if something happens, I can jump in. Right. Um, but I get a lot of enjoyment out of knowing that this guy is being looked after, you know, and he's safe because I'm there with him making, you know, the right decisions and being like, hey, boss, maybe we don't want to go down this road. Let's go here. And he's mm-hmm. like, okay, let's go that way. Mm-hmm. So. We're beginning to narrow in on who this is because we've now determined it's a he. <laughs> <laughs> but it changes. Like, honestly, it could be... He changes uh, his gender? He, he, he changes his gender. Yeah, we're in this today's society where things are... Fluid. Yeah, fluid. <laughs> so it's funny, you mentioned make, you enjoy making a plan and then working the plan. And I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about jiu-jitsu because if I've, like, today, I've taken what didn't work yesterday... And I know what I'm going to work today. And here are the sort of the steps of what I want to do. I'm first going to set it up by doing a whole bunch of, I'm going to pass this guy's butterfly guard by one minute, just playing with his ankles, trying to pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, put him on his back. And then when he starts overreacting to that, I'm going to go to plan B, which was really plan A all along. So you get to make a plan and then you get to try and pull it off. That's what I really like. One of the things I really like about playing jujitsu. So you do jujitsu too. I do do jiu-jitsu, but I imagine that your game is you're going, I'm going to do this because he's now going to do this, and then he's going to do this and do that, and then I'm going to smash him. Me, I'm like, what the hell did you just do? <laughs> I'm still at that level where uh, like, I, can make, I feel like I can make one move ahead. Yeah. I think that's where I'm at in my jiu-jitsu. Well, it's, you're you're blue belt. I'm a blue belt. Okay. I'm a relatively new. That's about right. Yeah. Congratulations. So Thank you. I maintain that that's the hardest belt to get in jiu-jitsu. Because yeah. uh, you look at the dropout, white belt to blue belt is the highest dropout by far. Yeah. And then, you know, the, yes, people drop out between blue belt and purple belt and purple belt to brown belt and so on. But you've already passed through the, the gauntlet that by far, I don't want to say 70%, 75% of the people who start drop out there. Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the saying when they're saying that you're incompetent? And then the oh, you're unconsciously, unconsciously incompetent. incompetent. You don't know. You're not any good. And you don't know what you're not any good at. Yeah. So then there's conscious incompetence. And that's the that's where I'm at. Okay. I know when I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know this, okay. and you know, I, I feel that that's the level where I'm stuck. And sometimes it, you know, sometimes I'm stuck, and other days it's like, 
oh, I'm starting to get this. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, no, you're not getting this. Yeah. Don't worry, that feeling goes on for a long time. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for <laughs> a long freaking time, and there that still happens on a on a basis. It might happen at a slightly different level, but it the same. Like I had it yesterday, and today it's all gone for a shit. That that that's that's normal. And yeah. it, if you don't have it, it really means that you're just playing with. You're not pushing yourself at all. Yeah. Right. I, I'm sure that that's the same for anybody who's trying to perform. At any sport, you know, to do well at any endeavor, some days they're, they're pushing themselves, they're going to be frustrated. 